So here we are discussing that root pressure is one of the factor that is responsible for the absorption of water in the roots that is to the stem. Now let us see an activity by which we can clearly understand how the root pressure is working and we can measure the amount of water that is uh, carried out that is taken by the stem. So we can take a potted plant for this activity take a potted plant. So in the potted plant just cut the stem. So you have cut the stem. Now we have taken one glass tube that is having the exact diameter of the stem. So that means the glass tube exactly fits to the width of the stem. So there is no air gap. In such a way it should be taken if there is any gap just you can put some tape to make sure that no air enters into this setup. So you have kept some extension to the stem a glass tube and you kept this whole setup undisturbed for some two to three hours you can observe it or otherwise you can put some water in this till here and you mark it as M1. This is the level of water when you started the experiment. You left it for some two to three hours. Now after that you see the mark it is M2. Here you observe that the level of water is raised up. Why it is raised up? Because of the root pressure. So how the root pressure is created? Because of the osmotic activity between the cells, primarily between the root hair and the environment that is the soil. So from the root hair it passes to the next cell, next cell till it reaches the xylem. So through the xylem the water is transported. Now let us see the other important mechanism which drives the water up. I told you root pressure is one of the factor along with root, uh, root pressure there are other factors which are contributing for the transport of water in the plants. Now let us see. So let us see the other mechanism that is the transpiration process. Root pressure helps the plant to absorb water but it is up to only some extent. It cannot make the water to flow to great height sometimes up to 180 meters big trees, huge trees and sometimes the root pressure is nil. It is based on the availability of water and the concentration of the water. Sometimes it is nil. Then how in such cases? The other mechanism operates makes the water to travel or transport in plants that is the transpiration. So what is transpiration? It is nothing but the evaporation process but which takes place by the leaves of a plant. You know what is evaporation? You are uh, you have studied that in your physical sciences. So evaporation is conversion of water into water vapor. So here the water present in the plant body is evaporated through the leaves. So we call this process as transpiration. So we know that the surface of the leaf consists of holes called as stomata through which the exchange of gases takes place at the same time through which the evaporation also takes place we call it as transpiration. So the water is continuously evaporated from the surface of the leaf. So here the water is being converted to vapor. The leaf is connected to the stem. So inside the stem xylem vessels are connected. So the water in the xylem vessels is passed to the leaf and it is evaporated. Here the transpiration takes place. So as the transpiration is a continuous process of making the water into water vapor, the water is drawn up in the xylem vessels from the root. Some suction force is created. As the water molecules they have the binding capacity, they bind with each other. So molecules, water molecules are bound with each other and they are carried in a flow. This is just like how you drink using a straw. If you are sucking at one end of the straw, the water is like a continuous flow, it goes up, travels up. Water molecules they bind with each other, they flow up. At the top you are giving the suction force, you are sucking through the straw. In the same way as the water is being evaporated on the surface of the leaf, the water is drawn up continuously. This is uh, by the transpiration process. So you might have observed 
let's say for example for an activity if you have taken a potted plant if you have taken a potted plant now cover the potted plant with a polythene cover which is used for making bouquets or anything just you can tie it up and put this setup in sunlight for some time you will observe that small water bubbles are gathered inside the surface of the cover sometimes you will find some water also inside that the water droplets after a large amount of water droplets are collected the water droplets they join together form little amount of water from where does the water come that is from the leaves by transpiration so sometimes you observe certain if certain vegetables are packed in polythene cover you will find some fog kind of thing inside the polythene cover that is nothing but the water droplets that come from the vegetables you can see in flower bouquets so in the flower bouquet also from the flowers the water vapor comes and inside the cover it forms some kind of water droplets so by these activities we understand that plants they leave the air they leave the water in the form of water vapor by the process of transpiration so this is the process by which the water is supplied in big trees like oak trees very high so if you observe the oak tree in one day of time the oak tree it evaporates or transpires around 900 liters of water so one tree it is converting 900 liters of water into water vapor that much humidity is added to the air so you can understand in a forest how much of water is converted to water vapor every day very large amount so that is the reason how the forests are contributing for the rainfall large amounts of water so they cannot pick up such a large amount of water only by root pressure root pressure is a factor in addition to the root pressure the transpiration process helps the plants to draw large amounts of water into their xylem vessels and that is to supply to the tip of the plant which is at very high around some 100 or 120 or 180 meters in height